Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today's topic is what is the difference between a virtual machine and a Docker container. Okay, many people have asked this question to me and uh, uh, I see that uh, whenever any discussion I'm having with people, this is uh, a very basic doubt that they have. So I thought I'll make a video on this and uh, share what I know about uh, this topic so yeah uh, please subscribe to my channel and share the video with your friends uh, please also let me know what are the doubts in technology you have i will love to make a video for your understanding on those topics uh, let us start with uh, knowing that what is difference between virtual machine and a docker container that operating system we install uh, uh, one more software called hypervisor and on hypervisor we install multiple vms so vm is a you can think of as a, a process which can which has uh, a os and uh, which has all the dependencies of your application and which has your application it is more heavyweight uh, when i talk about container Containers are basically very old concept which was uh, utilized by Docker and uh, you know it is made famous by Docker I would say. So uh, Docker uses uh, uh, Linux concepts like C groups, namespaces and all that and uh, what it does it creates a different space for uh, different uh, 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 processes in the OS. So uh, these processes are self-sufficient. They have their own dependencies. They have their own uh, uh, resources, and they have whatever they have everything uh, that they need to run independently. They don't have their personal OS. You might have seen that whenever you are in using virtual machine, you will use uh, something like VM Pair Player or uh, virtual box or uh, uh, or you know hypervisor or something like that and you will install your os on top of it and then you will use uh, uh, install your application on top of that uh, os and and use it uh, in containers are very lightweight so you can think of containers that vm which are very lightweight and containers are the vm which do not have that heavyweight OS with them. It has application and it has application dependencies. So that's how managing container and deploying container and uh, you know scaling containers become very efficient because uh, since they don't have that heavy part of OS with them, they are util the underlying OS being utilized by containers is the same. Uh, they are more efficient. I hope this video is useful for beginners who doesn't know difference between a virtual machine and a Docker container. Uh, if you have any doubts, please post it in your comment in our comment section, and I'll be very happy to answer those questions. Please share the video with your friends and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.